Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn what is error log in MariaDB and uh, where it is captured and how we can read that. First of all, let's see what is the error log in MariaDB. The error log contains a record of critical errors that occurred during the server's operation table corruption, start and stop information. So it uh, capture all that uh, information for us. Uh, the capture of information depends upon one of the variable called log warnings. Uh, by default, the value of this is one, and uh, that means the critical SQL warnings will be logged in the, into the error log. Uh, okay, if the value is set to zero, the logging uh, of uh, SQL warning is uh, disabled. So it depends if you don't want any logging, you can set this uh, log warnings uh, value is equal to one and then uh, uh, no information will be captured. If uh, the value is greater than one, uh, statement that were unsafe to log as SQL, uh, as statement based, uh, and then we will see what is a uh, statement uh, based uh, um, queries or uh, statements. We will uh, take a look right now. Uh, aborted connections and uh, access denied errors for new connections attempts are also written to the error log. For complete list, you can take a look on the log warnings variable. Okay, so uh, it is going to capture different information for us and uh, also uh, it is uh, statements uh, such as uh, unsafe to log as a statement base. So what are those one? The default format until uh, MariaDB 10.2.3 statement based logging uh, logs all uh, SQL statement that make changes to the data structure or uh, table. So all that information uh, will be captured. Okay, so depends on what is the value of your log warning is it by default it is one so it will uh, go and get, grab all critical errors and everything and warnings for you but you can disable by setting it to the one zero and if you have it uh, greater than one then you have all this uh, more information great now we know that uh, error log is uh, used to get the error information but uh, uh, if uh, you have installed the uh, MariaDB on a uh, Windows machine, uh, then what's going to happen? Uh, you will uh, see the entries in the event viewer. So in the event log, you are going to see in the application log and uh, it will come as uh, MySQL. Okay. Now on Unix systems, we support the logger program. Uh, errors can also be written to the syslog. That uh, we will make another video how to write the logs into the syslogs. But for now, just uh, you know, if you need to log, write the logs into the syslogs, uh, you can also do that. Great. First of all, uh, now we need to understand where exactly is the location of error log file. So by default, you will go to the var lib mysql and hostname dot error. That's the de default. Uh, path for the uh, error log file. So that's that will be the name of uh, your host will be uh, like your node whatever the name of your computer is and the dot e error that that's where uh, it is uh, going to be. But uh, in case you have set up you can always set up uh, the location of error log. So let's see if in my case it is already set up we can ch take a look. So we can say show variables like error log. If we run this uh, statement on our MariaDB What's going to happen uh, then? Uh, let me switch between the screen. Okay, here. Now, if I will log into the MariaDB and run the. Okay. And we will run uh, show variables like uh, uh, log error then it is going to show us the path where our log uh, error log file is. So in my case, it is in var log mysql and then the name of that uh, file is mysql error dot log. That's what the name I have given. Okay. And also you can check the warning uh, as uh, I was saying log warnings is very important and you want to see if the setting is the one that's the default or uh, if the value is a zero that means you have disabled it and uh, uh, the last one is uh, greater than one. So in this case we can see that our log warning is, uh, warnings uh, variable value is the one. So we are capturing critical uh, errors. Okay great. Next uh, let me show you. Uh, we will uh, switch back to the 
um, our presentation again and take a look how to enable it that's the next question so how you can enable it you can go to the if you have done a standalone MariaDB installation you can go to the ETC and then go to my config and then that's where you will make the changes um, so you will write a uh, log error is equal to whatever the path of the file you want to give and uh, uh, same um, you can also set the log warnings value is equal to one or zero or um, greater than one so all these things can be done in that uh, file so where etc my.config file okay if you have done glara cluster installation then your um, mariadb is going to use uh, uh, server.config file and that exists uh, in uh, etc my my.config.d and that's where this server.config file is so I'm gonna go ahead and show you where exactly my file is I am using Galera cluster and I will show you where uh, I have uh, written the path for my uh, error log file okay let's uh, switch back to the uh, our uh, putty or uh, MariaDB okay so here if I will go to the CD uh, let me exit from on this uh, MariaDB console, go to terminal, CD war, and CD, sorry, CD war, CD uh, log, and uh, uh, let me, instead of taking you to the log, uh, error log file first, let me take you to the configuration first. So, etc, my, I'm going to show you if in case of standalone first, cat, and it is in under etc, my daughter, cnf. That's where it will be if uh, you have done uh, the standalone installation. So you can go ahead and uh, write uh, the path here, say error log is equal to whatever the path you want to give to the file. Okay. But in the uh, case of Glara cluster, so it will be uh, under etc myconfig.d and then uh, if you will take a look, uh, we have server.cnf. So you can take a look on all that uh, but in my case uh, what I would like to show you I'm gonna go ahead and search for so cat server dot cnf and I'm gonna grab for error log or just log okay uh, if I will do just the error log that will work but uh, here log warnings is equal to one so that's the default I'm not making any changes if I don't want it I can go ahead and set this one to zero and error log you can see the path here var log mysql and uh, uh, then mysql errors dot log that's the path of uh, my error log file is okay great so we can actually jump directly to here I can copy from here and then uh, start reading uh, uh, this file okay so cd and uh, you can see the error log file is right there so i can do cat uh, mysql error dot log and then i'm going to go only and uh, grab uh, uh, the error message okay so you can see that uh, these are all the error messages it captured so you can see that i was trying to maybe create a database uh, or uh, drop a database uh, uh, those different errors cannot uh, create database uh, one two three database already exist so th this was one of the critical error maybe I was trying to load the data and uh, it also create the data at the same time but the database was there so you can see different uh, errors uh, uh, in this uh, file so this is how you will set up uh, your error log you need to um, in case of standalone you will go to the etc and my.config in the case of galera you will go to the etc uh, then uh, go to my.config.d and then server.cnf in uh, that's where you're going to make the changes for error log uh, i hope this video will help uh, and uh, uh, it will help you to debug your issues uh, with mariadb and uh, um, I can see that a lot of information can be extracted from this uh, error log um, file. So uh, good luck for now and thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.